<laughs> Minnesota Senator Al Franken has accused Attorney General Jeff Sessions of having pressured him and perjured during the Senate testimony in response to a question Franken himself asked. Here with a follow up QA are Senator Franken and Attorney General Sessions. <laughs> Yes, Bye. it's uh, it's really great to see you guys. Well, yeah. it's so great to be here, <laughs> and it's always a pleasure to see you, Al. Yeah, Jeff, uh, the pleasure is mine. This ordeal has been fun for everyone. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm actually surprised to see the two of you here together. Well, you know, people don't realize this, but Al and I are actually great friends. That's overstating it. <laughs> you know, I once took Al whitewater rafting on the Tattahoochee River, and uh, Al showed me Jew stuff. We had lunch at a deli, Jeff. Exactly. He, he taught me how to say schmear. Schmear. <laughs> I've never seen balls in a soup before. Yeah. They were matzo balls. Right. No. You know me, no questions asked, right? And uh, speaking of questions, Senator Franken, it, it is true you caught old Braille Sessions in the liar patch again, and I am powerful, sorry, my friend. So may I correct the record? Okay. Uh, can you place your hand on the Bible, please? Of course. Let's roll here, Father. Uh, Mr. Sessions, uh, it appears you placed a. Halloween type prop in place of an actual hand. Well, you do not specify my biological hand, Senator Franken. This is my oathen hand. I'm a danger to the country. Well, could you please place your normal human hand on the Bible? Oh, you a tricky raccoon, Senator. All right, you got me there. But then again, I'm just a simple country liar. Uh, wait, are, are you saying lawyer or liar? What's that? I'm sorry, these ears are just decorative. <laughs> okay, there, there, put it there. All right, all right, all right. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Alla baby. Excuse me? Oh, that's an Alabama maybe. Oh <laughs> or a baby dressed up like Aladdin. <laughs> Not that he'd be a lad in the country. Wow. <laughs> it's a travel ban, and I helped! Uh, Mr. Sessions, uh, why did you deny meeting with Russian officials when you had met with the Russian ambassador twice? Well, Something fine. I was all distracted because I was trying to evade the dastardly accusations of being a racist, which I'm not. But where I live, racism simply part of the landscape. And where do you live? The 1950s. <laughs> I cannot believe you were confirmed. Me neither. What can I say? I might talk to you, but I am very scary. <laughs> Al Franken and Jeff Sessions, everyone. <laughs> This Wednesday was a day without a woman, sponsored by Jergens Lotion. Jergens, you know what it's for. <laughs> it was reported that Jennifer Lopez is now dating Alex Rodriguez. J Lo and A Rod go by the cool celebrity couple name of, you guessed it, Elena Fix Lodriguez. <laughs> For the second year in a row, the happiest city in the country is Naples, Florida, while the least happy city is once again Puppy Funeral, Minnesota. <laughs> Last week was World Orphan Week, so to all you orphans out there, better luck next year. <laughs> O.J. Simpson could be released from prison as soon as this fall. And ladies, he's single. The co-founder of the Waffle House passed away this week at the age of 97. He died the way so many Waffle House patrons have, a knife fight in the parking lot. <laughs> Each week brings a new controversy for President Trump, as well as another person who has to defend him to the media. 
Here to sort them out is Pete Davidson with his first impressions. Yeah. Yeah. Look, um, defending President Trump is a really tough job. And a couple weeks ago, they brought out this guy, Trump spokesperson and James Bond villain Stephen Miller. <laughs> Poor Steve. He tries to project strength, but he looks like Fredo Corleone had been even sicker as a child. <laughs> Still, you have to give him credit. He's made it pretty far for a guy who was in high school voted most likely to have a cigar box full of missing girls' driver's licenses. <laughs> he lasted about a week. Then they got to Deputy White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who's one of those sweet Southern girls that you marry if you're gay. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> so now, members of Congress try to defend Trump, like the head of the House Committee on Oversight, Jason Chaffetz. You probably remember when he played Simple Jack from the movie Top of Thunder. <laughs> Another person forced to defend Trump is Paul Ryan, who got to be the House Speaker after someone waved a magic wand over a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> The Republicans wanted Paul Ryan to come up with something to replace Obamacare. And now that he did, everybody hates it. And I know what this is like, because for years, people have been asking me to quit drugs and get sober. And now that I have, everyone thinks I'm unfunny and boring. <laughs> and hey, at least I have dreams now, and I've started waking up with boners again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, man. But now, no one. Well, maybe not as great as yours, but whatever. <laughs> Sorry. But, you know. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> but no one defends Trump better than Fox News. And it starts every morning with Fox and Friends. This is Donald Trump's favorite show because they trade in for a new blonde every two years. And this year's model is Ainsley Earnhardt, who looks like she's with her dad's friends who keep talking about how much she's grown. <laughs> Of course, the king of Trump supporters is Sean Hannity. He looks like a thumb, which explains why he's so far up Trump's ass. <laughs> you know, thank you. I hate him, too. Uh, I guess he likes Trump because his hair is also really weird, and, like, the top of his head looks like two eyebrows got to live their dream of, like, being hair. <laughs> ah, so that's what it is. Pete Davidson, everybody. Oh, wow. Michael, check the name. Good night.